Hello! Hiya! So, for Inktober, which I'm still trying to get through, the prompt for the 14th day, I guess, <laughs> is Tick. And I'm not gonna draw the bug. They creep me out of it. I'm not- I'm generally okay with bugs, but any kind of parasitic thing that <laughs> you'd have to, like, pull off your dog or whatever. I don't want to draw it. So I remembered from a really long time ago, I was probably a pretty young kid, there used to be this show on Fox, and they might have remade it since then, called The Tick? The Tick? <laughs> I googled Tick Man because I couldn't remember what it was called. And apparently it's been a cartoon and it's been like a live action or whatever. I, I honestly don't, I don't know this show. I might have seen, like, like I said when I was really young, I might have seen a couple bits of the tick show <laughs> but i don't know anything about it i don't know anything about this character but he's our saving grace today because <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna open this as the reference that looks like a good one and we're going to attempt to draw the tick <laughs> for tick this will be a little bit of a challenge for me because i am not super great with burly men hold on i gotta adjust my mic uh-huh not the best with drawing burly men what i should be because you know anatomy and stuff so uh yeah so we're gonna get him let's see we'll draw his full body he's basically just like a chin dude <laughs> so i want to draw a big chin i don't know why i've put so much into this oh my eraser was down all right that was terrible we're gonna start over <laughs> draw a proper circle whoop whoop all right, that's good enough. And we're going to draw a very long guideline because he's going to have a big chin. And we're going to draw in the chin. Uh, I think it'll go out like this. I think his chin will go out a bit. I think, you know, he's got like some kind of thing there. So I'll draw it like this and then like that, I guess. <laughs> Maybe like, you know, this was his jaw and it goes out like this. Looks a bit silly, but I will try to figure it out. Uh... Huh? And then we'll give him a very meaty neck, uh, which I guess would, like, if this was the bottom of his thing, it would just, <laughs> just be, like, right under here. Wouldn't be much. Okay. And we'll just kind of conceptualize, I guess is a word. I don't know what word I'm trying to use. His shoulders. And he's going to have those shoulders where you have, like, the bump and then the big shoulder there. So we'll leave a little bit of room for that. <laughs> uh, let's sketch in the guide. We'll give him a little bit of a puffed out chest action line and that'll be his waist let's move him up a bit shrink him a bit so uh yeah we'll shrink him a bit so we can fit in his muscular arms yeah so we got the broad shoulder and then the tiny ish waist he doesn't have that tiny waist it looks like but something like that and then he'll have his little area here and uh i don't know i probably won't do much for the legs because I, I want to, you know, be able to show his face a bit. You start drawing things too small and you have to consider that. But we'll uh, put him in anyways. I think this can all be moved up a bit. Okay, and then we'll have, if his shoulders are here, we'll have the arm go up here, maybe here, and then here. I'm going to have him, like, flexing, muscle man flexing, you know? Uh, does that look right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Something like that. Okay, uh, let's fill in the muscles first so that I can... Um, okay, well, I'm trying to think. I think this would be okay just around it like that. And then since he's flexing his muscles, maybe this will go out a little bit more like that. So you have the first bump here, and then you have kind of the shoulder area here. <laughs> And then you have a big flexy muscle here. Yeah. And then we'll have his arm go up here. This will be his elbow. <laughs> it's a little messy. And his arm go here. And then his hands like that. Kind of a weird pose, but I can refine it. This will be in front, I believe. Does that look right in front? Or maybe this will be behind. Yeah, I guess behind. <laughs> I have to think about these things. Okay. Well, that's not uh, too bad. Let's draw one on the other side. And if we really hate it, we can clone one and replace it. <laughs> uh, but technically, this one will be a little bit different angle. Okay, so we have our little shoulder, extra shoulder there. And then our actual shoulder, rounded shoulder bit there. And then we'll have the big muscle coming up and around. And then over here, we'll have this come down with some definition. Give it some thickness. And then down here, we'll just have a big uh, area here. Yeah, I mean, they don't match up, but I can tweak them. It's not bad, I hope. <laughs> I don't know. I should have gotten a reference of like a strongman cartoon or something, but I think we're doing okay. You know, sometimes it's all about just having fun making the art and not making it perfect. Okay, I might have to look up the, how the hands would do. I'm thinking like, you know, uh, the fists would be like finger, 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 finger. And then this one was like finger, 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 that kind of thing. Yeah, I think that'll work. <laughs> 
Okay, so uh, we'll have the armpit, I guess, like here. And then that'll come down and uh, this is a suit he wears. So I don't know, I might show some lines. I think it's kind of a tight super hero suit. <laughs> Uh, we'll have some kind of line here, maybe, like that. His, uh, collarbone? Maybe like that? Yeah! And then we'll draw some, uh, like trapezoid or whatever muscles here. Have them over on both sides. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What does it look like so far? I think it, it, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> the good news is he's all solid blue. The bad news is it's all, like, a spandex suit. <laughs> So we'll just kind of draw in this, so it might be like that, and then he'll give him some really muscular legs, because he does not skip leg day. Uh huh. Okay, and then I'm gonna cheat a bit and change the ratio of this. Uh, let's make it up. Oops, wrong thing. <laughs> make it go up a bit like this. Let's give him a little space above his head. Yeah, so that way we can have him kind of blown up without having to show too much leg. And I didn't want to cut the legs right off at the knees, because if you don't know, that's a drawing faux pas. Never do that. <laughs> uh, okay, so he'll have some abs showing here. Uh, I'll just draw a couple like that. And then he'll have, I guess, on the reference, he has a little bit of this kind of line here. So, yeah. And then it goes like that and that. <laughs> I guess that's abs, I don't know. <laughs> kind of how the reference is, I might play around with it to make it my own. But that's about it for the body. And I just have to do the head and fix up the hands. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so for his head, he's got a mask on. That I think I'm looking at it over there. <laughs> I think it goes like this. And then over. Maybe this is called a cowl. And then that's what this thing was. Uh-huh. Sure. We'll just, we'll go with this for now. He's got a, uh, what is that called? Dimple chin thing? So I think it's going to go this way though because of the angle. <laughs> so we'll get that dimple chin in. We'll give this a little bit more of a squareness. Uh-huh. It's hard to tell what his nose looks like. I can't really figure it out. So I'm just going to do this. That'll go over it. And then the eyes will be right around here. So he's got like eyes like this. And then they're just white in the middle. You know, these are not perfectly lined. <laughs> Fix that one up a bit. There we go. Uh, they actually might be kind of bigger. Now that I look at him, he's a cartoon. So let's make these a wee bit bigger and then go in with a more controlled erase. Something like that. We can fix up all the, uh, we can fix up all the line art later with our thing. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to warp it bigger so that I can bring this down. Because his big mouth is going to be here. Like this and then this and then this is like more boxy, I think. And then the mouth be like this. You might think that's an open mouth, but nope, it's his teeth. <laughs> He's got a big, big grin. In fact, I think I could even make it bigger. I'm not super great with exaggerated features, but I think that looks okay. All right, now we just got to finish off his cowl. It looks like he's got like a uh, sort of caveman brows <laughs> where they're like, wee, wee, like that. He's got a line like that. Oops, I meant to get my eraser, not my wand. And then his head goes surprisingly skinny, I guess. Can't really tell. <laughs> That'll be good. It looks like his head mostly just goes behind those caveman brows. But I'm going to exaggerate it a bit here. It's okay to mess it up, mess around with it for your style, I think. And then he's got these, I think they're like antennas. They're probably like, um, tick antennas, you know. <laughs> it looks like they just have this claw shape here. I wonder the artists that originally designed this when they were like, give us a tick. And he's like, blue spandex suit, got it. <laughs> or she. <laughs> and then they go like this. All right. That's kind of, uh, I see a problem. In the reference, they don't face each other. One of them faces away. So we're going to just do the fancy little computer trick <laughs> where we do that. And his head seems to get smaller up here. So we're going to do that too. Like a little bit like that. Give his head that shape. And he has kind of an ear thing here under the mask. Yeah. Okay. I think that looks okay. His eyes might need to be a tiny bit bigger. I'll mess with that when I'm doing the inking. Um, just for the easement of when we do ink. <laughs> Let's make these hands a little bit better. When I ink, I do the pencil. <laughs> Let's see. How does a fist look? Something like this. Let's move this out a bit so I can have room for the pinky. I'm gonna be curled in like that. Wait a minute, how many fingers does he have? It doesn't show in the reference. <laughs> well, he's gonna get five. He's gonna get five. Even if he's a cartoon with only four in my style, he's gonna get five. Okay, so that's pinky one. This is a terrible way to draw hands. <laughs> 
and that's the middle knuckle which is always the biggest and then something like that all right it'll need a little bit of a touch up but on this one maybe we'll see a bit of the thumb going in like that finger one finger two finger three and pinky and then we can maybe even pick which one we like best and go with it you can also do that maybe that's a better look for that angle i don't know he's got mismatching hands but I'll, I'll figure it out okay so there we go we've drawn the tick <laughs> his head might be a wee bit too big for the rest of his proportions because it's kind of funny when they got the big body and the skinny head so <laughs> i'm actually going to shrink it way down i always make heads too big anyways so then this can go like that and then we'll see a little bit of his neck this way which is good all right so there we go there's my sketch now I'm going to jump ahead to the inking and the color and the shade. And there we go. <laughs> That's my attempt at drawing the tick or yeah, tick, the tick. <laughs> I googled tick man because I'm dumb, but <laughs> there's the tick. Let me know what you think. If you're a fan of the show, did I do it justice? Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Don't get any ticks on you. <laughs> Take care and I'll see you in the next video.